In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit your website through your cPanel. Once you purchase a website from Africa Imports, this is what your website will look like. If you look in the address bar, you will see what each page is named. For instance, if you go to your About Us page, Contact Us is the name, .html is the name of your site. The percent %20 is just a space in the name. To edit your website, you'll need to log into your cPanel, which I have already done. Before you begin the next few steps, make sure your pop-ups are not being blocked in your internet browser. Just check your settings in your toolbar. So once you are logged into your cPanel, you're going to find the File Manager button and click on it. Now this directory selection will pop up. You're going to make sure Web Root is selected and click Go. Now it defaults to the public HTML folder where all your files are being held. African clothing, artwork, your contact us page I showed you, Index will always be your home page and PC for personal care. Here also is your images folder. If we double click on this folder, you will see all the images that are listed currently on your website. If you want to add any images, you will need to click on upload and put your images in this folder before uploading them to your site. Now to go back, you're just going to click on home and public HTML. And here are the list of um, names again. So we're going to work from the Contact Us page. So we're going to select the box to the left and click HTML Editor. Once this pops up, just click Edit at the bottom. And here is your actual website. I recommend you save all these files before actually working and editing them in case any errors occur. You can just overwrite and download the files back onto your site and it will overwrite anything you had originally saved. So once we are in this section, we will you can just highlight and actually just start typing. So it's, I'm going to put Africa Imports. You just put your company name or address. Our phone number. Oops. And our email address. Now, as you can see, the email address is not yet a clickable link. So just to actually make a link, you can highlight the text and right click and click on insert edit hyperlink. That's what, once this page loads up, in the link text box is where you're going to insert your link. So any email link, you're going to put mail to without a space, colon, and then your email address. And once you're finished putting the link in, you hit insert and the text will turn blue once it's actually a link. Now, if you wanted to insert a picture, you can click wherever you want on the screen. I'm just going to put some space underneath. And if you look at the top, there will be a landscape button. It says insert edit image when you roll over your cursor over it. Just click on that icon, and this box will pop up. Like I said, all your images are saved in your images folder, which is showing in your screen. So just double click on that folder. Once this loads, you will see all the images that I showed you earlier that are already on your website. I'm just going to click on these masks and double click and click insert. And now the image is insert in your website. So once you get your page to look the way you want it to look, you're going to save it, which is this disk icon up to the left. It's going to take a minute to load and save. And then you can go back to your site to check it. What you're going to need to do is refresh the screen. And as you can see, all of your information is updated. And you can go back again and again and edit whatever it is you need to edit on your website. But like I said, just make sure you upload your images, I mean, your pages to your website for any errors occur. You can always re-upload them.